it's gray sweatpants season. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Here, it comes up on Google. What is the gray sweatpants thing? There's a gray sweatpants challenge? What does that even mean? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, I get it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I literally was like, no, maybe I don't get it. I don't see it. I see it. I see it. I can't un- Oh my god! Oh hey, you beautiful thing, you! Welcome or welcome back to The Flow Show with your curvy girl, Flo. My channel is all about looking fierce, staying frugal, and feeling absolutely fabulous at any size. If you're new here, you might be wondering like, what does that even mean? Let me tell you. I've always had a passion for fashion and saving my hard earned cash. <laughs> but my goal in life is just to like bring entertainment, fun and positivity into your life via YouTube, I guess. <laughs> when it comes to fashion, beauty, hobbies. I'm sharing my journey to inspire you to feel fabulous in whatever you want to do. Today's video is an outfit inspo video. How to dress up sweatpants for curves. I don't know anyone that would rather be wearing jeans like ever. If you do, tell me why. <laughs> do people wear jeans at home? jeans in their houses if i'm out and about like i dress up for the day dress up for going out errands like whatever but if i am wearing jeans the first thing i do when i get home is whip them off and then like swiftly get into sweatpants like i'm definitely not walking around naked i'm an ever nude i am completely undressed i'm going for fabulous athleisure grocery store chic comfortable fashionista vibe you know that's the vibe that i want i don't want to look like i just rolled out of bed i just want to feel like i rolled out of bed you have to find the right sweatpants for that like chic look my body type is the biggest through my hips i have like 50 inch hips i wear a size 16 usually on the bottom in the past i've worn like men's sweatpants and they are not built for like a big old butt <laughs> They have these like straight hips, so it, it doesn't work out. When it comes to sweatpants that I own, I have these, but they are just, they're too tight. I do have these, but they're too loose, like way too big, way too loose. But then I have these and they're just right the Goldilocks of sweatpants are from Emmy label, which is a new Canadian small business that I actually modeled for, for their website. Just saying. And that's how I discovered them. And let me tell you, that was the comfiest photo shoot I've literally ever done in my life. Like 10 out of 10. It was great. As a frugal girl, they are a bit on the higher end for me, but they are like a local small business. They are made and designed in Canada, which, you know, like is very rare. So we have our perfect pair of sweatpants and honestly, these ones are so cute. Now it's time to style some outfits. We're gonna start with like more casual up to glam. It can be done in sweatpants and I'm gonna show you today. For our first category, you know when the Amazon delivery is coming and you basically just like don't wanna look like, you don't wanna look like this? <laughs> and honestly, it would look way worse than this because I would normally be wearing no makeup and my hair like a nightmare. So this actually would be looking pretty good. <laughs> But you know what I mean? So these are the looks that are gonna have you answer the door ready without sacrificing ease or comfort. I call these looks around the house chic. So for this first look, I just paired the sweatpants with this like chunky kind of cowl neck cozy sweater. Beige is obviously very on trend. It's literally like everywhere you look on Instagram and everywhere. It's everywhere very hot right now. This is honestly just like a very kind of vanilla, very plain look for me. This is not usually my style or my aesthetic. Did I use it right? 
I'm usually the girl that's in like bright colors, little cheetah print. I do still have cheetah print with my slippers on. I just think this is a cute look that if you're just hanging out around the house, maybe somebody drops in for a coffee, still feel cute. If the Amazon delivery person comes, you're like, ah, I'm just so chic here at my house. Although uh, my hair would probably be like, actually way worse than that. That kind of looked cute. <laughs> this is kind of, ooh, let's tuck this in. I was gonna say, this is kind of boring, <laughs> but like, ooh, if we make it a little, force it into a little crop top. Oh yeah. That's a little bit more of me. Spice it up. Oh yeah. Super cute. For the next look, this is another thing that I wouldn't necessarily normally put together. It took me like a minute because it's not white on white. It's not cream on cream. But I always see girls doing these very cute looks with all these like, what would you call it? Like shades of vanilla whites, off-whites, a crew. That's a color, right? I think so. So this is not normally, not normally a pairing I would make, but I think that it's nice to tie in the white with like a nice white dad sock and a white sneaker if you end up running out. Maybe like a white puffer. I don't have a white jacket, but this would be cute with like a white vest, a little white on white whites on creams i think it's cute it's very simple like don't at me because these aren't complicated looks all you need is a white shirt so simple it's so chic and for the last around the house chic look i paired it with this little brown crop top chocolate was a very popular color this year so honestly yeah this look is fire this video is basically just going to be called like how to style neutrals <laughs> every look is like cream white black brown but that's fine that's what's in right now that's what's trendy and you know what this is just totally a different element for me to like not be wearing leopard print fur <laughs> or statement necklaces so i'm kind of digging it hmm. i like it i'm just gonna have to get used to like being not scared to spill on these pants though because i'm nervous that i'm gonna spill on them <laughs> next we're getting into our like errand running glam looks which is gonna be perfect for picture this it's sunday morning you roll out of bed maybe it's like a little bit later in the day you want to make yourself like a cute breakfast and then you realize i don't have any eggs so you head to the grocery store you don't want to get out of your pajamas did i guess that right and then the worst thing ever happens you run into literally everyone you know at the grocery store and you're like why do I look like this when I see everyone I know? Embarrassing. I mean, not really. Honestly, who gives a shit? Live your life. But if you're like me and you always wanna be going out with your best foot forward, I'm a fashion girl. I'm bringing the fashion. So these next few looks are basically my solution to wearing pajamas in public. I call this segment, Errand Running Glam in Pajamas. For this out and about look, I decided to do like a 50 shades of beige look or like five. <laughs> so cute. Oh my God. I am not gonna lie. I wasn't against the like beige on beige monochromatic looks, but I just didn't think that it was like a look for me. And I think I changed my mind. <laughs> it feels like, I don't know. Like I just feel rich. I feel chic, I feel, I just, I feel so put together. That's the thing, like even though the shades of brown are not the exact same, there's something about the color family that just makes me feel like I have my shit together. And honestly, I don't. <laughs> really, truly, I don't necessarily have my shit together, but it sure looks like I do. Yeah, this one is like, this is gonna be a new staple for me, I feel like. Out with the full cheetah print sweatsuit, in with the creams and the beiges. Um, although I will say that this looks super cute with black too, and I do have a look with black that I guess I should just put on now. See, some of these looks are a little bit more like bold with this stark contrast of black. I honestly, I don't know. I don't know about the hat where it's not 
cream writing. I feel like the kids these days don't care about like matchy match match. So for this, I'm wearing my oversized turtleneck tucked like under my bra to make it a little bit of like a loose crop. So cute. Yes. And then on top, I do have this, <laughs> this raincoat. What kind of jacket is this? Oh, it's Calvin Klein, baby. I love that it has gold details. Just makes it like have a little bit of that pop that I like so much. If I'm not going to have you know, patterns and bling. I gotta have some details that stand out. I really like this look, very comfortable, like super comfortable. And I love these like combat boots, lug boots as people call them, that I got um, in the fall. They're probably one of my better purchases this year. I was not sure I loved the like chunky boot trend, but then I got them <laughs> and they're waterproof. And I wear them literally all the time. I'm really into thigh highs, but these are great for just throwing on. So good. Great purchase. Oh, now we're getting really wild with like a pop of color. And that color is navy blue. And navy blue is kind of part of a neutral family. It's very close to black. Honestly, navy blue is one of my favorite colors. I'm pairing this little crop top with a little jacket, a shirt jacket, if you will. Like, excuse me, excuse me. Like at least this one, <laughs> this look has like a pop of pattern. This is me. This is something I'm gonna be reaching for, for sure. No question. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love a crop and the way that the sweatpants just like hit, I definitely feel like, you know, not so casual. Like I'm in sweatpants. I feel like I'm in sweatpants but I feel chic. I feel like it's a look. I would wear this to someone's house for dinner. Probably not. But if I went somewhere and someone was like, let's do something, I would still feel I'm at least in a look. Also, if I had a navy blue hat, I don't. I don't have a navy blue hat. I feel like these out and about like super casual looks really call for a little ball cap. Like what if my hair was like up in a pony, right? Yeah, I love this look. Love. 10 out of 10, wearing again. For this last scenario, you know when you get home from work on like a Friday night, you're settled in, you just got into your cozies, you're about to turn on the TV and someone's like, what are you doing? We're going out. And inside you're like, I do wanna go out. And on the outside you're like, I am so not ready for this. Well, these, are the solution to that problem. Roll off the couch and roll to the club. Is that a thing? Rolling to the club, rolling at the club. We're staying in our cozies and we're still going out. So for this first look, what do I call these looks? These are just sexy. <laughs> this first look, I am doing a maroon. It's very similar to like the tone of my hair. This maroon crop top with some layered gold necklaces, gold watch, and then these like cream heels. Like, can you wear heels and sweatpants? Sure, why not? It's the future, you can wear whatever you want. And I do. You don't have to listen to what I say. I honestly think that this is a cute fit. I would, I mean, would I wear it to like a club? Probably not, like I do not need some like, drunk people spilling their drinks on these cute pants. But would I wear this to like dinner? Sure. Would I wear it to a show? Like a, like a show? <laughs> I don't know what kind of things you do anymore. It's been two years. <laughs> I don't know, I think this look is like fire. So if you disagree, whatever. For this look, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a clubbing outfit, but you know what this is gonna be perfect for? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> this is gonna be the perfect look for when I'm a real housewife and I get on a private jet. This is a private jet outfit. Do I have a private jet? No. Are there any prospective private jets picking me up in the future? No. But when one does, I will be ready. I think this is so cute. You've seen it before on my channel. I'm sure I've told you the price before, but I got this Michael Kors turtleneck out of Salvation Army for 
score of a lifetime. And then I actually made this belt out of an old necklace and a Michael Kors a lock from one of my old purses because I don't really use it anymore. So now it's just a cute belt slash sometimes I'll wear it as a necklace, but it's just a very fabulous gold laden cream outfit. Private jet chic. Okay, this last look might be like a little bit scandy, a little bit scandalous, but you know what? This is like definitely a clubbing outfit. I would go to the club in this. Not that I want to wear my cream, jogging, sweatpants, whatever they are, joggers. I don't want to wear these to the club, but like if I had to, if there was no other option, like this is a fire look. You could definitely wear this with other pants too, but I never understood like why people had these little like half C. And honestly, I don't. This is a full turtleneck that I just rolled up. <laughs> I had to get the look, right? But like, I get it. It's like, it's like my, I have warm arms, but I'm still still out here we out here you know and yeah this might be a little bit scandalous it might be a little bit young for me i don't care i wear what i want when i want and honestly i feel very cute loving this with a thigh high i had to throw in a thigh high somewhere had to this is cute but like let's get back into our comfies okay i'm still comfy that's the whole point of the video but like our real comfies well, that's it for me. Hopefully you get some inspiration from these fabulous, comfortable, stylish looks. Let me know if you end up styling anything, like like if you're inspired, like maybe take a pic and tag me on Instagram or something, that would be fun. This is my Instagram right here. You can follow me. That would be cool. <laughs> I also have a TikTok that I'm not very good at. Stay fierce, frugal, and fabulous, and we'll see you next time. Whew.